Hi, it's Mary and it's so right. In our channel, we had a request from someone to demonstrate how to use the start and stop button versus the foot control on the floor. So that's what today's class is about. So with the foot control, this is gonna make the machine run. And when I push down on it, the machine is gonna start sewing. All right, so with the foot control, and I'm talking about the speed, this is like cruise control when I eliminate this. But when you're, when you're driving your car and you're pushing on the pedal, if you push very lightly, it is gonna go slower, even though I have it set on a faster speed. As long as you have control, just like driving a car. If you're worried that you're gonna go too fast pushing on the pedal, you don't wanna run into a tree. So what you might do is lower the speed so that no matter how hard you push on the pedal, that's as fast as it's going to go. Now, why would you eliminate the foot control? You would, on a brother or a baby lock, you must unplug the foot control if you're going to use what we call cruise control. So on the Bernina or the Husqvarna Vikings, you don't have to unplug your foot control. You would just do the next step. Again, if you're going to set your speed. So if I set it at the slowest speed and I touch start on the brother and the baby lock and the Bernina, you will have a green button that lights up. If you have your foot pedal plugged in and you go to touch start, it's not gonna let you. It's gonna tell you that you have to disconnect the foot control. So I'm gonna unplug it again. And here I have green. You have to wait for the green. Once I have the green and I touch start, the machine is sewing by itself and it's going at the slowest speed I have it set at. So if I move this up, it's gonna start stitching faster. And if I move it all the way up here, there we are at full speed. And I can go down again. When you wanna stop, you touch the button to start and stop again. Um, so, like I was saying, if you're gonna do very long rows of decorative stitches, your foot will get tired when you're pushing on the pedal on the floor. So here, now use your cruise control. Set your speed, pick your stitch, and then just let the machine sew by itself. And all you gotta do is guide it. I refer to this as driving down I-95 and you're heading south. You set your car on speed control, on the, the cruise control, and all you gotta do is guide the car. You're dry, uh, guiding your fabric. So I hope you enjoyed today's class and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.